Another new season upon us, and we're here with Fordham Women's Soccer head coach Jessica Clinton previewing the 2018 Fordham Women's Soccer team. Jess, been here for about two weeks or so, a couple scrimmages in. How has preseason gone for your team? I think preseason's gone really well. They've come in and they're fit and they're excited and every training session is a high intensity and highly competitive session. So it's been great to, so far. Well, at least last week, you named your team captain, Brooke Salmon, wearing the C for this team. Uh, unanimous selection by the players and coaches. What has she proven so far through three years going into her senior year that has that much level of confidence in her to be that unanimous selection? I think when Brooke stepped on campus as a first year, she's been a leader in her play. And as she's gotten older, her voice has gotten louder and more mature. And it's easy as either a coach or as a teammate of hers, I think, to follow because of what she's done and the work she's put in. Watching a couple of the scrimmages, a couple of new players to look for. Kendall Dandridge, uh, Claudia Cicchiani, uh, in the, as a part of that new defensive core, which has allowed Maggie roughly to kind of move forward a little bit. What have you seen out of those two new players, as well as any of the new players um, uh, contributing uh, early on this season? So they come from a great club background. They're high-level players, and they were able to step in and just make a difference right away. And so with Claudia playing next to Brooke, she's calm, she's collective, and she knows how to play the game, and she's a great tackler. With Kendall, high energy outside, being able to connect to go forward. So pushing Maggie up was a no-brainer for us. One player you did lose from last year was Natalie Sims, mm -hmm. career leader in games played. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's a lot of experience to lose in the midfield. But having Maggie to roll back into the midfield where she was freshman year, what does it mean to have somebody with that experience with Maggie to kind of fill that void of experience in the middle? Mm -hmm. We certainly miss, we will miss Natalie in playing in the midfield for sure. Uh, Maggie has played there before. She played with Nat. She knows how to play. Maggie is probably one of the best penetrating players we have on our team. We're just playing her a little little bit deeper to see a little bit more of the ball. Um, but Maggie is fine in that position. She's actually great in that position. I was holding her back playing a center back last year. Um, so I think we get to release her and she's really excited about that. Uh, the preseason poll came out. Guys were picked ninth. Again, hoping to be in that top eight uh, when it comes tournament time. Does that kind of light a fire a little bit to get into that top eight, make sure you're competing for that conference title at the end of the year? I don't think it's a surprise that we're picked ninth as far as the coaches go, just because we were 10th last year. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say I think we as a team will be in the top eight. You kick off the season this weekend against South Carolina, ranked number five in the preseason poll. Uh, extremely tough opponent of the SEC, made the Final Four last year. What do you take from a game like that to put it on your schedule say, listen, this is where we want to be. This is the type of competition we want to go against. What are you going to take out of that game? Well, it's a different environment. It's the SEC. We're going to walk in into their stadium, and they rank in the top 10 as far as soccer stadiums. So they have, on average, between four and 5,000 fans a game, and that's something that we haven't seen yet. So to have that experience step in into that environment will be different for us, and that's what we'll take away. Um, as far as playing at that level, we'll see. You know, we won't know until we step on the field with them to see how we match up, but we're ready to take that trip on and, and get going. All right, well, best of luck on the trip. Best of luck this season, Jess. Thank you. We start our women's soccer preview with senior Brooke Salmon. Brooke, uh, you were named the team captain for the 2018 season. It was a unanimous vote from the players and the coaches. What does that mean to you to be a unanimous selection to lead this team this year? I'm very honored to go into this season leading our team, but to be honest, I'm nothing without my teammates in my class going forward. You've returned two-time All-A-10 player the last two years at two different positions. Last year you moved into that back line. You're going to be in that center back role again, but with a couple new players on either side of you flanking you. What have you kind of seen from them at the start of preseason here and moving forward? Um, it's a great learning experience for us, honestly, learning from them and taking what I do and making our own new back line. Like, we are a new team, bringing in everyone, so it's a great experience learning from each other and being able to create a new back line that's coming full force for the season. You also have experience in goal. Kelly and Colleen were obviously your starting duo last year. Um, how comfortable does that make your job teaching those new players and incorporating those new players with the experience of Kelly and Colleen in the back there? 
well, it's a great, great thing that we have them still back there and we're able to like use what we've learned from last season to come into this season. Um, just bring the new players in They're, I mean, they're great players, easy to work with, easy to play with. So it's been an easy transition so far. Came out earlier today, uh, the preseason poll. You guys were picked ninth, um, one spot out of a playoff spot. What do you? What have you seen in preseason that say, listen, that's not going to be us. We're going to be in that top eight, and we're going to be fighting for that eight ten title at the end of the year. Um, collectively as a team, I think we're like a very confident team. We're so hardworking. We are resilient, and with this, this is not sending us back anything. This is someone telling us something, but that's not who we are. We're working so hard. No one's seeing what we've put in on the field so far. So to me, that's just setting a fire. We're going full force. We're going to go at it, and we're going to do the best that we can do this year. Thanks so much, Brooke. Best of luck this season. Thank you. We continue our women's soccer outlook with junior midfielder Maggie Ruffley. Maggie, you guys are coming off a season, didn't make the A-10 tournament. Uh, A-10 preseason poll came out a little bit earlier today. You guys were picked ninth, which is one spot out of the playoffs. What do you guys, when you see a preseason poll like that, what does that do for you guys to kind of motivate you to say, hey, we're one of the top eight teams in this league and we will be competing for that A-10 title at the end of the year? Uh, I think it really lights a spark under us. Um, we've been working really hard this preseason, a lot of fitness tests, um, a lot of training sessions. We've been going in high intensity, uh, kind of ready to take on the season with full force, uh, definitely ready to make our mark. And I think we all believe that we're going to be well above the top eight and uh, definitely ready to just take on the season and we're excited like I don't think number nine means anything to us we're ready to just take on the season full force for yourself coming back this year a couple scrimmages in you're back in your midfielder spot where you were as a freshman not not in that center back position what does that do for you to kind of open up your game try and get more involved in the offense um, I think one of the things that me and coach have talked about this preseason is trying to push either me or Brooke back in the midfield and it happened to be me this season and I think she definitely wants me to step up as a leader in that midfield and kind of direct some of our younger players and get as much offense going as we can. Being that defensive center mid, I'm still kind of connected to Brooke in that back line, but I think it's a good way to kind of push one of us up and to try to create as many chances as we can this season to score. A lot of returnees on this team. One person that isn't back is Natalie Sims. She sets the all-time career games played record, 80 games. That's obviously somebody played 90 minutes almost every single game and is tough to replace. What do you do uh, as a group to kind of replace that experience in the midfield? Uh, I think Natalie Sims leaving the program, obviously, on a really great note, is really hard for us to kind of come back with because we don't have a senior role in that midfield. And she was such a great leader in there. But I think a lot of us did get a chance to play with her for at least a year or two. And I know myself, I learned a lot from her. And she was such a hard worker and such a competitive player and wanted to win every game. And I think we can all take a little bit of what she taught us and kind of bring it into our own and kind of hope to fill her role and score some goals. <laughs> You guys first game this Friday against number five South Carolina, a tough matchup right out of the gate. What do you guys expect to kind of get out of the game playing a, a high level team that, that was in the final four of the College Cup last year? Um, I think we're going into this game as we would any other game, obviously wanting to win. Um, not really worried about their status or where they ended last season. We know that both teams are new teams. You get seniors graduating and uh, incoming freshmen coming in and I think we believe that we're just on the same playing field as they are, and it's 11 other girls on the other side of the field, so we're going in full force, ready to take on our first game of the season and come out with a W. Well, thanks so much, Maggie. Appreciate it. Good luck this season. Thank you. That'll wrap up our season preview of the Fordham women's soccer team. They kick off their season on this Friday down at South Carolina, ranked number five in the United Soccer Coaches preseason poll. Game time is set for 7 p.m. at South Carolina. Make sure to check FordhamSports.com to follow the game, uh, whether on the live stream, on Twitter, or live stats. And as always, follow the team on Twitter at Fordham W Soccer. That's Fordham W Soccer on Twitter. For the Fordham Ram Roundup, I'm Scott Kwiatkowski, and we'll see you next time.